in his chest there's implanted an, a stimulator, sort of a pacemaker for the brain instead of the heart, and wires come up under his skin behind his ear and go to two electrodes that are planted into the subthalamic nucleus of his brain. Um, it's called deep brain stimulation surgery. And I'm just going to talk to the stimulator here. And as part of the process, what I can do is I can raise or lower the voltage, increase or decrease the pulse width of the frequency. And by programming the stimulator, it changes his response of his Parkinson's symptoms. So what I'm going to do is, with Robert's permission, turn off his stimulator so we have an idea of what his Parkinson's disease looks like without the stimulator on. That's what you're going to do. It. Just around, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it off. I can feel the electricity leaving me when he does that. So you can see the emergence of the Parkinson's symptoms, the resting tremor, and I'm going to hopefully be able to turn it back on now. Yeah, you hit me. And so that's what a deep brain stimulator does for his Parkinson's disease.